told me at least a thousand times. Before you were born, a psychic told me this baby girl will someday be one of the most photographed and famous women in the world. Bridget Bardot, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, Grace Kelly, you'll be bigger than all of them. I'd never been allowed to wear makeup, go on real dates, or hang out at the mall before. Grandma wasn't uptight about any of that. She schooled me on all the sensitive topics mom declined to talk about. Boys, bras, mascara, and other matters that were all totally appropriate and necessary for a girl of 14. She took me to the salon and let me get my honey brown hair bleached blonde and cut in layers like fair faucet. She schooled me on current makeup trends, matte foundation, exaggerated lip liner, pluck to perfection eyebrows, and subtle glitter finish. She was the master of the Nefertiti eye, an icy blue or lavender lid with silvery white up to the brow bone. But I preferred the early grunge trend that favored a smoky eye. Grandma let me go to the mall on weekends and made sure I had money for the food court. She let me date and go to parties. I was allowed to have male and female friends over to watch TV in my room so I didn't have to sneak out. I was free to do a lot more than my parents had ever allowed, but my grandmother set boundaries and she wasn't kidding. Ninth grade was the last year I really got anything out of school. I never cut classes. I did my homework and thought the about white college. Car I was dating my first real line. boyfriend, Randy Spelling, who lived with his parents, Aaron and Candy Spelling, and his sister, Tori, in a legendary 56,500 square foot mansion called The Manor. Randy's house had a movie theater, a bowling alley, and a lot of other things that made it fun to be his girlfriend. He was a couple years older than me and had a driver's license. So he came to visit me in Palm Springs. And once he rented a cool bungalow with a pool and hot tub, we made big plans for the weekend. Not sex plans, just fun. I was a virgin and very clear about the fact that I would be saving myself for my husband. Raised with a Catholic view of virginity, I looked up to my mom and wanted to marry someone just like my dad. They were loyal and kind to each other, cherished each other. I wanted to be cherished like that. And it was ingrained in me that to be the right kind of wife, you had to be a virgin when you got married. She drilled it into my head that guys only want what they can't have. So giving it up meant being unwanted the next day. She said blowjobs were beneath me. That's for girls who are desperate. You don't have to get on your knees. You're Paris Hilton. Mom always told Nikki and me, never sell yourself short or give yourself away to someone who doesn't appreciate your value. See yourselves as the Chanel purse. You're the Hermes original, not the thrift store knockoff. So even though I was crazy about Randy, I was like, be the Birkin. And Randy was cool with that. We could still have a fun weekend, right? It wasn't just gonna be the two of us. It was a whole group of kids. Very Beverly Hills, not a 2 0 kind of thing. I packed some cute clothes in a little suitcase and told grandma I would be spending the weekend with my friend Crystal and she